morning y'all today is july 25th it's monday start of a new week so i thought i would make a little vlog of my day basically i'm doing homework per usual that's nothing new around here um that's pretty much the plan um very homework focused right now i'm actually going to do an errand i have to return some stuff at ross that i bought last week it is 9 30 a.m and we are up and at it i went ahead and already completed um one of my assignments that i need to do this morning so i got that done and then there's still a few other things that i need to get done today is a glasses day as you can see i don't ever wear contacts anymore i feel like just glasses are a lot more comfortable and i got these new ones from i buy direct maybe like a month ago so i've just been wearing glasses every single day so sorry if you can see the reflection hopefully it's not too bad they're supposed to be anti-reflective but sometimes they're not um but yeah good morning welcome to the vlog my name is carolyn if you're new here i'm an msw graduate student with a concentration in administration and community practice so if you're interested in that stick around subscribe i make grad school related content and just little vlogs of how my days are they are very hectic sometimes and sometimes they're a little more chill but for the most part i'm always doing homework of some sort so that's what you'll mainly see around here and just like being super real about what grad school is because it is no joke i actually graduate in december and it's july right now we're about five months away which is just so crazy to think about because i feel like i just started my program but here we are, we're at the end. Um, I wanna talk to you guys about my internship for the fall a little bit later. And yeah, let's go ahead and run this errand really quickly and then come back home. And I'm thinking I'll like sit down and chat with you guys a little bit about what I'm gonna be doing in the fall. I'm super excited about it. So welcome to the vlog and I'll see you guys in a little bit. some work pants which is really great i didn't try any of this on and i also found a pair of levi's and some lees i'll do a little haul whenever i get home but um i didn't feel like trying anything on so i'll just return whatever doesn't fit like it's not a big deal for me um it kind of just like beats changing in the stall oh this little mark is from my mask the mask was so tight around here i have to show you guys this really cool mug that i found it's a friday the 13th mug with freddy on it and then it says welcome to crystal lake and it's red in the inside like please come on like i i couldn't walk out without this mug and my dad's gonna hate me because he's saying he always says that i have too many mugs and i shouldn't be buying anymore but i mean it just makes the coffee experience that much better so okay it is time for a ross haul i've said it once i'll say it again Ross is seriously like underrated. If you're not shopping at Ross, you definitely should because it's a lot cheaper than Marshalls and TJ Maxx and they have really great stuff. It is hit or miss sometimes, so that's so that's kind of something to be aware of. Sorry, I just like turned off my fan. So first I got these 501 Levi's. They are cropped and high-rise straight leg. So I got these literally perfect condition I got these work pants they are like skinny and gray I don't have a gray color I only have black and then like this checkered one I have khakis and I was thinking I could also use these white jeans since they do look really nice um, for my internship since it's business casual I think it's more so on the casual side so I feel like you can really dress up like the white pants with a really cute top I also got these like gray green pants they are by the brand Ella Moss they are cropped wide leg they were like $11.99 which is just insane for a quality pair of pants you know I got these Lee high-rise vintage modern pants and I've been looking for a pair of black jeans that are 
straight leg because I have two pairs of black skinny jeans and I'm just like not oh my there's Rudy hi bud um I just really wanted a straight leg pair and these are really cute they have this cute little design like back here Lee like are you kidding me like I found this at Ross for $12.99 I showed y'all my little Friday the 13th mug super freaking cute I love this I love everything so yeah okay Rudy is just like too cute oh my gosh okay um my outfit details I didn't show y'all my top is just like this cropped top from Shein super old and then my pants are these cargos from Walmart the Walmart men's section that's where it's at literally the $20 cargos and they're a little tight so I tied the little shoelace I did that shoelace tie hack where you get a shoelace and you just tie it in the back like yeah you can see it but I don't really care about it <laughs> um, and then of course just wearing my vans I thought I would talk to y'all a little bit about my internship so I hope this angle is like okay I just feel like the lighting is perfect here so so I start my practicum in the fall so August 31st is my first day this is going to be my final internship so what a practicum is it's an, a graduate level internship my final like experience within my grad program right before I graduate if y'all have been around for a while um, you may know that last fall I did my first practicum and that one was a total of 320 hours um, at site and then 20 hours of indirect hours which is just like extra coursework and like basically like if you think about like a continuing education where you read articles and you complete some assignments so for this year since it's my since the second year is considered your advanced year um, the internship or the practicum is 500 hours so it's basically gonna even out to about 34 hours a week 34 to 35 hours a week so basically a full-time internship which is really amazing actually I mean I feel like I'm gonna really um, learn a lot and um, have the experience of like what a nine to five or an eight to five job is depending on how my schedule will be we haven't quite worked that out but I am so happy to announce that I already have a practicum site in place I'm gonna be working at a veterans association here where I live and I'm just like and I'm just so thrilled because it incorporates both macro and micro aspects as i mentioned earlier my concentration is in administration and community practice so that is macro based macro is more systemic big picture kind of thing and eventually i want to go into micro that is my main goal i want to practice therapy and that is why i got my master's but i was also very interested in like the admin part of it and so what I'm going to be doing at this internship, it incorporates both macro and micro aspects. What so perfect place for me that needs the experience in macro with communities and organizations, but also wants to get that one-on-one -on -one group therapy sessions because I will be conducting three um, group therapy sessions, which I'm so excited about. Um, I, like it sounds a little nerve wracking, but that's what I want to do like I want to practice at the micro level I'm not sure if I'll be doing any individual work so really like micro focus but for sure I know um, from my, my interview that I will be conducting three therapy session groups which I'm absolutely excited about I think it's really great that they give the interns that opportunity to really learn and experience what it's like in the field so I am so excited I interviewed actually a week ago last Monday today's Monday I was given the internship um, right then and there so it went really great I'm super excited so I feel like I'm gonna be talking a little more about practicum um, in my next next coming videos so if you are interested or just curious about what practicum is at the graduate level you might want to stick around for future videos I will definitely be talking a little bit more about how my days are and hours and different requirements and stuff like that so definitely stick around for that yeah, i've been slowly buying more business casual clothes because i don't really have that many like i was a substitute for this school year from february to june so i have clothes but i feel like i was able to pull off like really casual more casual clothes for um substitute like i would wear vans and like a pretty top and pants if that makes sense but i'm not gonna wear vans to my internship so um, I do need to look for a new pair of shoes because the shoes that I have are just like 
not comfy whatsoever like i can still wear them but i they can be like a second option but i really want to get some that fit nice and feel nice more than anything so that's the plan um i've slowly been buying more tops because i feel like you can never have enough tops for work so yeah that's the little update with my life i'm just like so over the moon excited about the agency that i'm going to be working for that is my little update and where i've been and what i've been up to so i've just kind of been focusing on focusing on finding a practicum site the past like two weeks i was able to secure the internship literally a month before so that's that's a good timing compared to last year like we were so behind like my whole class not um not like myself but um the entire class was very behind this year we're just like moving through it it's amazing so so yeah i will bring y'all along um and talk more in the future about my practicum and anything that's like requirements and what i did that day um, of course, all while t maintaining confidentiality, so I'm not sure how much I can speak about, but I will try to fill y'all in with just like a general, like what I did today. I think that'd be really fun. I've been watching on here on YouTube, uh, Lanicia Medina. I love her content. If you're watching, girl, shout out to you. She's super cool. She um, makes grad school content, and she's actually doing her practicum right now. I think she's about to finish, um, but she like kind of vlogs. Um, afterwards and like what she did that day and what she's learning um along with like her coursework so i feel like i get a lot of inspiration from her and i hope to be able to vlog like that for y'all to make it just a little more interesting and more social work based um i don't want to always make my videos about school and social work like i want to have like a good like in between of like my personal like just everyday life and then school and professional life because i feel like you should have you should definitely have a good balance between the two um neither or should kind of like overpower the other especially work overpowering um your daily life so actually going to the beach this weekend you should let me know if you want me to vlog i can totally make a vlog of that just like a day in the life at the beach um i think my boyfriend and i are going on saturday if everything goes as planned. yeah guys let me know if you'd be interested in more like little everyday vlogs that don't really involve school um i don't know if everybody here that subscribed is here for the school related content but um that'll keep coming do not worry i actually really like making school content so i just want to also incorporate like just daily my life whenever i'm not in school so it's pretty rare i don't really do much it's school takes up a majority of my life but the little time that it doesn't i'd like to vlog that more so that's one of my goals for this coming fall semester aside from my practicum um i really want to like share that with you guys in a little more like in depth of what i'm going to be doing and learning okay this is also like super random i'm so sorry if you can hear my fan in the background my like ceiling fan doesn't work so i have to have like this little portable one anyways my brows look at my brows i just wanted to show y'all this amazing product it's the nyx uh lift and snatch brow tint pen it is incredible it literally it looks like i have eyebrows so my issue sorry this is so random maybe somebody could benefit from this because okay so i don't have like eyebrow hairs in the beginning and the ends like the tail of my eyebrow and so this product is so like thin and if you use a really light hand you can mimic the eyebrow hairs it's incredible it literally looks okay probably not exactly like microbladed brows but it really does it, it has that effect of like adding more hair strokes um but it's not hair i think it's super pretty i keep it pretty natural so i mainly just like focus it here in the beginning and the ends and then put a little bit through the middle but as you can see i have like some sparse areas because i wanted to keep it like really natural i love this product like you can really like make natural brows that actually like look good like they look like they're your natural brows so in case you have the same issue that i do where i don't have enough eyebrow hairs and i'm always missing them here in the front especially i totally recommend this, this little pen thing 
I'm in the color gray black in case anyone's curious uh, my hair is black so I normally use a black um, pomade I use this little Maybelline one so yeah I just think it looks so cute sorry if you can see the reflection hey say hello to the vlog <laughs> Hey y'all, it's a little while later. I think I'm gonna make a coffee just as a little midday pick-me-up. It is 2.15, so I'm actually meeting with um, my group for one of my classes at 3.15, so in about an hour. And right now I'm gonna make a coffee. I need to do a quiz for my course on advanced social work practice with communities i have my little setup here i'm gonna be working in bed just because i'm kind of tired of my desk so for my afternoon coffee i'm gonna do an ice latte with bianco leggero um i actually just bought pods not too long ago so this is very neat and organized and there's a good variety to choose from but i know for sure i'm going to use the blueberry lavender um, almond milk thing from Trader Joe's. I love this stuff. If you haven't tried it, and if you have a Trader Joe's, please pick this up. It literally tastes amazing. If you're not too crazy about lavender, I feel like you'd still love this because the lavender is very faint. I feel like it tastes more blueberry than lavender. So if you're into that, this is definitely worth a shot. My other friend over on YouTube, Yana, if you're watching this, um, she's also an MSW grad student and she mentioned this in one of her videos lately and i literally so obsessed with it. This is the most random angle ever, but I typically like to do about five ounces of milk per double espresso latte that's brewing right now. And of course, I'm gonna add it into my frother. Typically use the cold foam setting, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Also, I have been using TikTok a little more lately, and I've made a coffee video and outfit of the day. So if you're interested in that, you should follow me on TikTok. I'll leave a link down below to my um, TikTok page. Um, this is kind of one of my little passions, so, yep. Okay, I'm vlogging on my phone right now, so this portion is gonna feel like a little FaceTime, if you would call this, because it's vertical. I apologize for that, but I'm just going to construct my latte. So this is the double espresso, and this is the almond milk, blueberry lavender almond milk. I typically add half a sugar packet, y'all know the deal if you have been watching for a little while. Obviously, ice cubes. And that is my afternoon latte to get me going because we are low energy at around 2 to 3 p.m. That's when the slump happens, so cheers. Time for a taste test. It's so good, y'all. Like, if you like blueberries, it kind of honestly just reminds me of blueberry muffins, which is amazing. Like, who wouldn't want that in a coffee? So, if you have a Trader Joe's near you, please go pick up the blueberry lavender almond milk. I honestly love, like, vlogging on my phone. I feel like that's a really cool concept and it kind of feels a little more natural i guess like you are on a facetime call i really like that a lot so let me know what you think about this um i'm not going to vlog like this all the time because of course i have my camera and i normally vlog like landscape but this is kind of fun so <laughs> let me know if this is all right with you guys just so i can like include little clips like this i feel like it's a little more natural especially like if you're in public um so let me know what you think this is my little setup and I'm going to go ahead and take my quiz and then meet with my group in an hour and check back in with you guys a little later. Okay, I'm registering for my practicum for the fall. I am officially registered for my fall practicum since I already completed all the documents and turned in and found a field placement. So we are good to go for the fall. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm excited.
this is this is the end this is literally the last this is literally the last thing that i need before i graduate so we just registered for our final class in grad school that's nuts that's absolutely insane cool <laughs> i'm so excited to not have to go to school anymore next year that's just insane to me if you made it this far into the video thank you so much for watching i really appreciate every single one of you who watches my videos and interacts with me on instagram as well um just thank you so much and please stick around for any future videos about my practicum which i'm really excited to make and so if you ever have any questions or want to reach out to me my instagram is linked in um my in the description box i linked my tiktok and also my spotify in case you are curious about what kind of music i listen to or anything like that um so yeah thank you guys so much for watching um it's pretty late in the day it's already 7 30 and i am just so exhausted and I'm gonna finish up this paper i'm probably just gonna get ready for bed chill out a little bit and that's about it again so much for watching and i'll see you next time